Hello everybody, my name is Bezad. My name is Risa. And we are here from Naked and Famous Denim. And today we've got another exciting gene to tell you all about. It's the brand new Pagoda Dyed Selvage, the latest release, part of the Naked and Famous Denim Fall Winter 2023 collection. As always, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about them, all the specs, all the details, how they came to be, thoughts and opinions, ASMR scratch test stuff, where you can get a pair, probably a few other things, who knows? But you know who's gonna know? You's gonna know if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, but before we get into it, you gotta hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Reese is gonna get us started off with the specs right after this quick little intro. The Pagoda Dyed Selvage is a 15 ounce Japanese selvage denim. It's 100% cotton and it's made with dark indigo warp on the outside and on the inside we use the special yarn dyed with natural dye coming from Japanese pagoda tree. Mm -hmm. Right, so the natural dye gives this denim a nice like yellowy golden glow. Mm -hmm. And you'll obviously, you're gonna see that when you flip up the cuff and you look on the inside. Uh, but you know, these colored wefts really do dual purpose, of course, You've got a great cuff flipper, but it also gives the denim a nice warm tone. Mm -hmm. So it makes it really nice to wear with your like fall winter wardrobe where you're wearing a lot of like, I, I mean, especially me and you, we're wearing a lot of flannels and a lot of warm tones. So it really blends in quite well, works perfectly with brown boots. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that some people will ask is how are these going to fade? Like, are these going to fade to yellow? And, and what is the answer to that? Well, not really. Right. So they're not really going to do that because the warp yarns control how denim is faded. So th this doesn't just apply to this gene, but it applies to all genes. Uh, so the warp yarns that we use for this are rope dyed. And that is a type of uh, yarn dye where the indigo doesn't fully penetrate to the core of the yarn. And basically you take the yarn, you dip it in indigo, you pull it out, dip it back in. And with every dip, the, the yarn receives a new layer of indigo on top, but they never leave the yarn in the, in the indigo long enough for the indigo to penetrate to the core of the yarn. So as this denim fades, because the warp yarn is has a white core, it will fade to white. But between the twill lines, that's where you see the weft and the weft kind of gives it an undertone. Mm -hmm. So you'll have like a golden undertone to a like a, a white fading denim. Mm -hmm. And once you rip a fabric right. or something like that, then you definitely see the, the weft or just flip up the cuff and right. you can certainly see the golden mm -hmm. color. And um, just to, to add to the 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 dye so this is pagoda tree dye is right. a very traditional old school japanese uh, natural dye method and they take this uh, buds from flower buds from this pagoda tree and then they can uh, dye things in this bright you know really nice vivid uh, yellow right so this really goes well with the the blue of the indigo and it also like really matches with the, you know, the contrast stitching of jeans in general. Right. So it's such a nice um, addition to yeah. this. Um, it's a, it's a really that. great pairing. Mm -hmm. You know, when we, when we were developing this, we were thinking like the idea was that we wanted to do another natural dye because we've done a lot of natural dyes in the past. And sometimes, you know, the, you might see a lot of the same natural dyes happening across the board. So we wanted to really do something different. So, uh, you know, the, the natural dye people kind of gave us a catalog of all the different things that they could do. And I was like, whoa, that one is so I never saw it before. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that we can do this because yeah. I don't think anyone's ever done a pagoda dyed denim before. Mm -hmm. And it's such a bright color. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice. And uh, the, the mm -hmm. fabric base itself is very nice. It's 15 on. Yep. So it's a little bit on the the heavier side, but more than that, what's amazing about this denim is just like the hairy texture. Yeah. It looks like it wasn't samphorized. It was samphorized, but we skipped the singeing. So you can see just how hairy this denim is. So it gives this fabric a lot of character. And as you were saying, 15 ounce, this is rigid. Like this is cardboard. This is what you expect when you think raw denim. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take some time to break these guys in. That's for sure. But what I love about it is the heft mm -hmm. of these jeans. Like you, yeah. when you when you pick them up for the first time, you're like, you know, you've got something substantial here. Mm -hmm. So uh, speaking of the heft and the texture, that's the segue into scratch test. Mm -hmm. So let's take a listen here to the Pagoda Dyed Selvage 15 ounce, 100% cotton Japanese selvage denim. Yeah. 
We can really hear that rigidness. Yeah. 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 It's not particularly <clears throat> too slubby, but no. it does have a nice crunch. Yeah, that's for sure. Now, uh, let's dive into the details of these jeans. Of course, you're going to notice the contrast stitching. We've got the cardboard uh, patch. So it's not a leather patch. It's a cardboard patch. It looks like a leather patch. It actually wears down like a leather patch. Um, this is a kind of a vintage style detail when, when uh, back in the day when they started changing over from like real leather patches to these. Now, some people think, oh, maybe they, that was part of cheaping out in some way. But, you know, for me, a lot of like these denim construction details over the years to me it just plays into the history of denim so i really enjoy using patches like this from time to time right and we're all familiar with how it ages and right it kind of it has a good like it has its own unique way of, yeah, of, of aging so um now of course the main event of this denim is that yellow interior and you can see it's got a beautiful golden glow and when you flip up the cuff you can see that classic red line salvage id here I as well it was pink uh yeah i guess pink pink red pink anyways you guys you guys tell me what you think i see i, I guess i see pink now but uh, there it is. Uh, and of course, uh, other other details are uh, our classic Naked and Famous denim hardware. We've got Je t'adore tout new here on the rivets and Naked and Famous here on the buttons. And these buttons are all made for us custom by YKK in the US and A. Now, uh, if you want to get a pair of these, you can get them at select Naked and Famous denim retailers worldwide. We've got a blog post linked in the description below. They're going to be available in Super Guy, Weird Guy, Easy Guy, and the newest True Guy straight leg fit. So our four main fits now available in the Pagoda Dyed Salvage. Risa, what are your final thoughts here? I just really, I'm very happy with how this denim came out. And, and it's such a nice, and I don't know, folly, mm -hmm. warm toned with fuzzy, mm -hmm. like a hairy texture. It's just, it's such a great jean. Yeah, it's got a lot that, you know, I think denim nerds are gonna appreciate mm -hmm. in a pair of jeans. And even if you know absolutely nothing about raw denim, maybe this is your first pair of raw jeans, you're you're picking up something that has just it's just chock full of detail. And you even if without knowing, you can you know that there's something going on here. There's, right? there's certain specialness that you can definitely see. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you like these, you can grab your pair. Uh, I don't know what the release date is yet, but uh, we'll probably I'll have it right here, uh, you know, right there uh, and you can get your pair. And I'm uh, I'm rambling. And if you have any, I guess I'm gonna go into question. Yeah, if you have any questions, you know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below, or join Risa and I right here on YouTube every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern for our weekly live stream. We'll uh, preview new products, answer your questions. Definitely go off topic, ramble on, and ramble on, and that means it's the end of the video. So mm -hmm. uh, we'll leave it there. We'll see you guys next time, and uh, have a nice day. All right. Bye everyone. Bye everyone.